that's my mom hanging up plastic bags so you know that phrase make hay while the sun shines yeah that's what I'm, I'm about to do today I'm gonna make some hay not literally but I'm really just gonna do my laundry um, the weather here these days have been really kind of sometime-ish um, in the morning it's really bright and sunny for the most part and then by lunchtime it gets really rainy and dark and whatever and I just haven't been able to do my laundry in like weeks so now that it actually has sun as you can see from the extreme shadows on my face now that it actually has a lot of sun I am going to yeah let me get back in here so now that it has a lot of sun I'm going to just go and do my laundry now this seems like something really mundane and whatever but I really like hanging on clothes I mean not like the other parts of it like taking them down and you know putting them away but I find hanging out clothes is really relaxing to be honest sometimes like when my mind racing and whatnot I find folding clothes and putting them away that's kind of relaxing too so this is one of the things that I kind of do to feel relaxed and to just you know have a sense of calm when it is I want to kind of clear my mind doing laundry hanging up clothes for me that helps yeah so that kind of leads me into basically what I want to talk about today which was things that I do to relax because as I mentioned the past weekend even up to yesterday during the week it has been pretty stressful I would have chatted about doing yoga a couple days ago and that is another thing that I would do to calm myself as I mentioned in that video but I'll get more into the different things that I do personally to help me when it is I'm feeling anxious when it is I'm feeling stressed out and whatnot to kind of take it easy and calm down hold on I want to um I want to go by my dog and see if he'll actually if he'll actually like stay by the camera he does not like cameras <laughs> I'm surprised he's actually you seen his face oh, he's just so unbothered he is just totally cool and calm this is the model of relaxation that I want to follow this is what I want to get at you know yeah I'm gonna follow Chai <laughs> say hi Chai hi doggy <laughs> vlog where I did some yoga after work I can show you all things that I do to help me relax so the first thing I, that I'll do if it is like I feel I need to relax is reach on time or being early now you probably didn't expect a tip like that in this kind of vlog but I am habitually late 
you would most likely see from all the previous vlogs that I've done so far that every single day I'm late for something or the other if I'm not late for literally like everything that I'm doing. When it is you reach late, it just makes things a lot more difficult. You're anxious, you're rushing, you're not settled and sometimes though I actually reach late just to blend in or to be able to leave early but it still causes a lot of anxiety. Reaching early helps me relax because it helps me just sit down in the moment and in the environment, get a feel of my surroundings and try to kind of calm myself if I need to talk to myself, if I need to talk to somebody else. Um, it gives me the opportunity to be able to do that before I have to go inside or go where I need to be. I also like to read. Reading is really calming. Now I'm a tactile person, so I like to actually hold a book in my hand and turn the pages and read it. However, I also like to go online and read like articles or blogs or stuff like that. And a lot of times when it is I am going through something that's kind of troubling for me, it's really comforting and relaxing to be able to go and read other people's experiences with the same thing or something similar and also to read how it is they overcame it or what they did to help themselves. So of course I would have spoken about this before but I enjoy being active, I like being outside. Honestly when it is I don't get a chance to be active it feels like my whole body just shutting down. <laughs> Nothing works properly and I'm just in a bad mood, um, kind of like down and blue and whatever and I don't know I just feel rickety and old and crutchety. Running or walking because I've been doing a lot more walking lately that totally clears my mind that kind of leads into also hiking and doing these different kind of outdoor activities i don't know there's just something about nature that just quiets my mind and makes me feel a lot better about whatever it is i'm going through or it kind of allows me to get a sense of clarity so this is my fifth tip right and that is taking space for myself since I was young you know everybody know that I always want my space right but when I say taking my space sometimes you can't physically get your own space like you may not be able to have your own house or you may not be able to go somewhere to stay but what I do in those moments sometimes I just take a drive and I like to drive I like to actually have a destination firstly but I like to drive where it is I can stop and see the ocean. So I will go to say the foreshore or somewhere in Chagramas by Williams Bay where I can just pack up and feel at peace and look out at the sea because the noises from the ocean and whatnot and is very soothing. If it is I can't go anywhere or just not feeling to drive, simply going into my bedroom because I have the ability to go into my bedroom by myself. I am in my own room. If I really need to get out, you know, take a little staycation. That helps a lot if it is you're able to afford it, if it is you have the ability to do it. That's something that you could do as well. Taking a nice shower, or the, it's calming, the warmth of the water, everything together just makes it for a very relaxing experience. And sometimes I could stay for a while in the shower but I mean if it is you only have one shower and people need to bathe <laughs> you kind of have to keep that in mind and that's like I know some people would go into the toilet like I used to go in the toilet and sit down to get my space too but when it is you in a house with six people and one toilet I mean that would get quite the opposite of relaxing very quickly if somebody needs to use it so you know you still have to be a little aware of the people around here and the circumstances that you are living in. All right, so the laundry is done. Let me look now to <laughs> getting out of the heat for a bit and finishing up my chat. So I have a bonus tip or thing that I do in order to kind of help me relax or calm the racing thoughts that I have, and that is speaking to someone. So. I may chat with my mom or my boo or somebody who I trust when it is sometimes the thoughts get a little bit too much to bear on my own because there are times with certain circumstances where I can look through all of the vlogs or all of the blogs online and read through people's experiences 
and it still is there nagging in the back of my mind and I'm just anxious and worried and I can't calm down and sometimes you just need that bit of reassurance from someone else sometimes it helps kind of to just bounce the thoughts off of someone else or even just saying it out loud to another person if that's not possible for you I mean I I think talking to yourself in a mirror or sometimes I will also try to find a calm spot and say some prayers and that helps me internally that helps me deal with a lot of the thoughts and frustrations and struggles and whatnot that I have and it helps me to relax so you want to be cool calm and stress-free I know that's a lot to ask because in this life there are a lot of things that are very stressful and it's good to have little techniques that you can use to try to calm down and relax ourselves now these are just some of the things that I do there are other things I might do like you know take a nice warm cup of tea and do different types of stuff but um, just for the context of this video I thought that those five or well five and the bonus were the most pertinent and so I just wanted to share that but that's not an exhaustive list by any means so whatever it is works for you as long as it works it's good right just keep that in mind here's a bonus bonus playing with my dog and playing with animals in general is also very relaxing <laughs> hey chai <laughs> Oh, gosh. <laughs>